Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, I am your instructor for this course Computer Aided Building Modeling and Design. My name is Mujamil Yaqub. Let's start our today's video lecture. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about mathematical elements of CAD, right? Its detailed introduction. And uh, in second phase, we will discuss about two-dimensional transformations. Why right? two-dimensional means two? In short, you can say 2D transformation or 2D molding, right? And uh, the few example of transformation tools like translation, scaling, rotation. So we will discuss these three in detail as well. And this is our 11th video lecture. So let's start. So first of all, what is mathematical element of CAD? So in our daily life, or in our daily life of an engineer, I mean, or a, you can say a technologist, uh, contact with mathematics is usual, right? Usually uh, medicated by computer programs like machine elements or building element or building modeling element. So usually done by computing, uh, computing programs just like CAD programs, uh, ETABS, SAP 2000 or uh, inf uh, infinite or finite element softwares right as I said normally uh, are CAD and uh, the programs are very large software system with uh, many features for different users groups ranging from normal design work to uh, using an application program interface in order to develop uh, additional features right uh, for example if you look or if you compare the AutoCAD 2010 version with AutoCAD 2018 or 2020 uh, version so you will see the difference of uh, difference between the interface and uh, difference between the updation or upgrade uh, upgradation of uh, additional features as well since uh, we are particularly interested in the daily work of an engineer so focus on these parts which normally appear in uh, constructive design work for example if you are designing a building so there's a lot of equations involved in there let's say uh, calculating steels analyzing loads or uh, calculating different kind of loads right so these kind of uh, work normally done on the basis of formulas and uh, mathematical descriptions right so our focus will be on that thing how we or how CAD is a uh, program to right to fulfill the that requirements so basically mathematical foundation of CAD uh, is in ba based on algorithms and uh, geometrical formulas or geometry right which uh, normally in computer added design CAD or in CAD incurs program with deep roots in many areas of uh, classical mathematics so as I said such as algebra or uh, different geometrical analysis right and uh, then comes uh, transformation so let's discuss transformation first and after that we'll discuss uh, its two dimensional transformation right so as you know transformation means uh, changing some graphic into something else by applying rules for example uh, we are let's say take example of AutoCAD so first you draw any kind of object or drawing with the help of uh, geometric tools right and then you are modifying this geometric uh, geometric shape with the help of modifying tools for example uh, trim command extend command you are using mirror command so you are uh, transforming that right uh, according to your uh, requirement so basically this is called transformation mean changing its shapes or it graphic we can say graphic as well because uh, we are seeing this picture on interface so it's a basically graphical uh, representation of that thing 
and uh, here is a term used uh, applying rules so applying rules means for example in CAD uh, whatever the command you use you have to follow certain rules for example you need to put a command in command line and uh, then press enter after that you need to uh, specify the object I mean selecting the object its uh, first point its second point so these are the rules uh, which we refer here after that uh, we can have various types of transformations such as uh, translations scale for example scaling up and down rotation sharing etc and etc right and uh, after that uh, when transformation take place on a 2d plan right 2d plan means you are working with two dimensional drawings so it's known as or uh, called 2d transformation and uh, for example if you are working with 3d dimension so it's known as 3d dimension or 3d drawings the next one is uh, translations so translation means uh, moving an object from uh, its original position to a desired place or required place uh, so on your screen or in the drawing so when you use uh, to translate or move a object in a 2d drawing right so in 2d drawing we know that it is based on a coordinate system means x and y right so we need to uh, put another a new coordinate I mean of that place where we want to uh, paste our object or we want to move our object so over here in this picture you can see the example so the first point is original point and uh, it is known as p into x y means you can find the value of x uh, by linking that line to the x line right x graph line and similarly the next point you can see where the arrow is indicating it is known as uh, the required point or desired point where the we want to move that object right and uh, for that uh, these basically AutoCAD using these kind of uh, equations in background normally we does not know or uh, we don't understand right or it's not showing on the screen as well we just put command of move and uh, AutoCAD just simply move our object within the within minor second but the important point is CAD is using these equations right when we give him command and uh, analyzing the command right so this is how it works and uh, the last example is uh, rotation in rotation we tend to rotate our object on a particular angle or on a required angle so for that uh, we need the angle right for example we have angles from 0 to 360 and uh, on what angle you want to rotate the object so for that uh, we need horizontal x coordinate with the distance r r is the radius from the origin so let's suppose you want to rotate it on an angle right for example on a 45 angle or 90 angle right so just uh, give it an angle and uh, specify the new location or new point and just simply enter so by that we uh, tend to use by that we tend to use the rotate that object but on the background uh, as i said in the previous slide as well cad is using this equation right for rotation or angle calculation cad use a trigonometric right formulas so as you know you probably studied in the 9th or 10th standard as well where we tend to use uh, these trigonometric equation to calculate the uh, graphical angles right so similarly the same concept cad is using and uh, the, the, just the difference is that we do not we don't know right on the screen how or how fast cad calculates you can imagine so on the screen there's a snap you can see the difference right and as an example is given as well so this was all about our today's lecture so see you inshallah our next video lecture